Okay, now we have um, Bob Hoopy. Bob, Bob um, helps set up and manages a program called the Technology Services Corps. And this, this organization uh, basically allows students at some of the local high schools to travel abroad and, and set up computer labs and set up technology labs and basically teach people abroad internationally in places like Nicaragua and so forth how to use computers. And so Interconnection has been working with Bob and, and Technology Service Corps for several years now. We've done a few collection events together, and uh, which means, you know, computer donation events, and um, they've taken a lot of our refurbished equipment. So, Bob? Well, thank you. I, I'm honored to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of the small guy who's worked in the labs and, and brought high school kids here to work. We were just starting our organization about four years ago, and we were looking for a partner to work with because we wanted our kids to have experiences in fixing computers and getting them ready to take to other countries. So we found out about the connection, and I called Charles up, and uh, he agreed to talk with us, and we started to work in the lab in the old building, not the really old building, but the one over by Lake Union, and um, got on their Christmas card one year, as a matter of fact. Uh, very first year, we took computers out here to Guatemala and installed them. Charles talks about not being able to go and see what the fruits of his labor are. We get to do that. We've taken computers to Guatemala and built a computer lab in a little <coughs> local school a little bit outside of Antigua. We've taken computers to India. We've taken computers this summer to Africa. I myself have traveled to Nicaragua twice uh, with computers and built a computer lab one year, and then we went back the next year and we repaired it. It didn't need a lot of repair, actually. They'd been pretty good about um, supervising it. We brought a bunch of digital cameras, and we taught the kids how to use it, take pictures in their community, and then created PowerPoints this summer and worked with them in partnership. We had. 14 of our high school kids were working with 14 Nicaraguans, and we just had a wonderful time. We've really always enjoyed working here in Connection. Um, this is a picture, actually, of a couple of kids working on their PowerPoint at, um, in, in Nicaragua it, with the computers a year before that we had built. So I really wanted to go back and, and see those computers in operation. It was very exciting. Um, we're actually right this very night um, recruiting kids for two more trips that we're going to take this summer. We're going to be going to Costa Rica and uh, in next July and this February we're going back to India with another, with one of our board members' daughters is over there right now organizing a trip. So we've always appreciated working with Interconnection and it's been a lot of, it's been a really good education for uh, <coughs> high school students. I. My own son worked here for two years. He's now a, a sophomore at Harvey Mudd College. And uh, he got really excited about technology while, while he was here. And was always trying to be one of the people that got his name up on the board as having fixed the most computers successfully. So I really wanted to thank you, Charles. Uh, thank you.